So after your replication is done from the uh, ExoSoft and the primary ArcServe server, probably wonder how am I going to get my uh, my data restored if you needed it. So I'm going to go into uh, setting up the the replica ArcServe server, which um, we replicated all of the dedupe data store data from the primary to this server right here and if you look in here we're clicking on Windows System uh, Microsoft Windows you can see that there's actually no hosts that are in the database right now on this backup server so what we have what we need to do is we have the dedupe uh, data on the the local disk we need to go ahead and map a dedupe device to those folders that we have replicated and go in here add just like we did on the primary we're going to choose the location of the uh, data location and the index location as well and we're going to select these folders now this is pretty easy this could actually also be scripted um, CA has some pretty good command line tools for uh, scripting the setup of, of this and merging in uh, data from tapes. So you see we added it successfully here. We can exit out. And the next thing after we have the device, we can go ahead and check and uh, look in the destinations. Should be able to see the, the group and the uh, device added. <clears throat> so right now we see, still see nothing in the database and we're going to have to merge the data first. So if we go in devices we can see the dedupe device is there. There is a tape in there. This is from the backup that we did on the primary. And you can see we can also we have options that where we can erase and format this tape. Um, well this virtual tape device. So we're going to merge this tape in. If we go in here, we can see the group. And clicking on the group, we can uh, go ahead and select that tape individually, or we could have just merged everything within that group. So once we click Run on here, we'll see the job will go ahead and start. So just as if this was an actual tape device or tape library, or any other tape media we can merge the data from just this dedupe location or this dedupe store that's been on disk you can see the merge completed successfully 11 sessions and the different data information of the merge so we'll click out of here and we'll go ahead and um, Let's do an actual restore. Uh, this will show us that the actual data has been merged into the database. And if we click on the uh, Windows system, which is where the backup server from the primary would show up underneath, um, under Windows system, we should see that device now is in the database as we do here. And if we go ahead and drill down into this this um, server that's in the database from our backup, we can see all the data that's been backed up here. It just so this is just as if it was local. If we were looking on the local backup server, whether it was on tape or storage device, um, we can go in and do a restore and send this to a uh, one of the local disk or wherever we like to back to the primary and restore the data from this server we're going to go ahead and enter in our authentication information
And now that's done, uh, we have access to the actual, uh, just the local server. Uh, let's go ahead and create a restore directory to restore the files to. We'll call it restore on the C drive. And once we go in here and refresh the, uh, the window here, the folder will actually show up. And there it is. We'll go ahead and select the restore folder as our destination. And we'll keep the schedule for now. We'll go ahead and restore. We can see that the tape media needed for this restore is there. And if we click OK, we'll go ahead and finish the job. And configure the job to go ahead and start now. So if we go ahead and look at the uh, details of this job, uh, we'll be able to see that the restore is actually going uh, and it's finished. It was quick, only a couple directories that I had to restore. So if we go into the file structure, we can see that restore now has data in it. Um, and it's pretty much that simple. So uh, there's a lot more capabilities in there. You'd have to go into ArcServe to uh, configure those.